15 length test of the set. Breathing gas is coming through nicely. Hold down cables in good shape. So as you can see, right now I have uh, breathing gas flowing through my system in a mock-up of the uh, scrubber pack running a fan that blows 100% oxygen from this lower tank uh, up into the right side of the helmet. And this comes in right to the side of my face and it also sort of washes over the visor and keeps the fog down. The exhaust goes out the other side. So gas is continually flowing through this, but it is a closed system. The gas then flows through here and goes down into our scrubber medium. So I'm getting gas oxygen from the um, oxygen tank, but I'm then exhaling it through a carbon dioxide scrubbing medium. And that scrubs the CO2. And when the CO2 is being scrubbed, we keep our suit CO2 levels down to not too terribly different than if you're just in a stuffy classroom, maybe six, seven hundred parts per million, whereas you would be in 400 parts per million maybe on a nice clear day in uh, outdoors. Now as that gas passes through, the scrubbing medium does get depleted after a while, but we have about seven tests now and about four hours of data uh, showing us using that scrubbing medium and we have found that it's acceptable for the duration of the flight that we're proposing. Now I haven't connected my straps yet. This test is not about pressure. This not, test is not about um, uh, the connections to the paraglider seat. This is a test to see if doing what I could expect to do during the test which will have the suit only lightly inflated 
I'll bring the pressure up a little bit. The suit would be only lightly inflated. This is coming up nicely. You can see my suit getting a little puffier now. So this is the roughly the pressure that I want to fly this suit in um, for this first test to about uh, just under 20,000 feet. You can see there's motion in the seat as though I'm in the paraglider. And uh, I'm a paraglider pilot, and um, so I'm very comfortable. Also, 10 years of climbing made me feel very comfortable being suspended from things. So this is entirely comfortable to me. And, uh, you know, some about six years of diving, and I'm still doing it, but not as often as I used to. Well, about five or six years of, six, six years of diving uh, made me feel very comfortable with... Um, relying on our systems, relying on systems. In particular, in particular I like night diving. Uh, and then you really are uh, fighting clutter and disorientation and sometimes panic. And so you have to be very controlled. And I've learned that and I feel very comfortable with a system like this. Finally, another good reason that I feel very comfortable is that I've built every stitch of this suit, every single item, hundreds of hours. And so I know every item. There are no black boxes. There's no thing that I'm relying on that I don't understand. And the same way, the scrubbing unit, which is, this is a mock-up, but the, the full one is, is being built right now. Uh, that one, I feel perfectly comfortable using it because um, I've been with uh, Peter DeCliver at every step of the design process. Number one, from the philosophy. Number two, to the, making the mock-up, which we built before. We tested it back in November for CO2 levels. Um, and then now building the draft. And then after this draft, we'll continue with the full build. So basically, this is the rig. And uh, I had some worries, but the uh, uprights were going to get in the way and they're going to snag, right, potentially on my uh, helmet, gas, in and gas outputs. But I don't see that happening. Everything feels just fine. Now today we also talked to a parachute rigger. Trent did, our team member Trent talked to a parachute rigger, actually the rigger who built the skydiving system for Felix Baumgartner. And we got some very good advice confirming some of the way that we had expected to do things and also giving us some new ideas. And basically there would be, be a pre-deployed parachute, or partially pre-deployed parachute above us, above me, during flight, uh, such that if I need to break away from the balloons, uh, I come down on that parachute. If that parachute fails, there's a second one. A reserve parachute back here in my uh, uh, paraglider seat pouch. This is made for a paraglider, uh, for a, a paraglider reserve parachute, so I'm going to have two parachutes. And that reserve parachute can be deployed also by flinging a handle. You'll also notice that there are a lot less cords and cables and things here. I'm trying to declutter the system and make it a little bit more workable. But essentially, this is the rig that we'll be using. Then I'm just going to swing back and forth a little bit. And get a feeling for this. Just like paragliding. A lot of paragliding you turn simply by leaning left or right in the harness. You don't even use the controls. And it all feels very, very good. It all feels very comfortable and natural. I'll let you hear what it sounds like without the gas going. Well, there's gas down to a very low level. And now here I'm going to blast it up pretty high. Okay, 
So gas is turned off. You hear a little bit of hissing. That's because the, the ports have not been sealed in yet. We were just putting, we just temporarily put them in and some gas is escaping past them. Right now I'm just breathing suit gas and you'd have about two or three minutes if this is 100% oxygen in the suit, which is what we're going to fly with. Uh, you might have a couple of minutes, three minutes, maybe five uh, uh, of 100% oxygen uh, in the suit that you could breathe. Um, but it gets stuffy pretty quickly. So I'm going to run the gas again and vent out my CO2. good feels very familiar and of course I've got a couple hundred hours now since uh, 2009 <laughs> I've had about uh, or 2011 the first time I was pressurized uh, I have a couple hundred hours wearing these suits and, and getting accustomed to wearing them so I feel perfectly familiar with this, this world yeah. high pressure very quick and now I'm going to dump it with my manual over pressure valve feels just right. And it feels perfectly right. 